You know, that's why stand-up is a great thing. It's a great fucking thing. You get to make a complete ass out of yourself, feel like a douche, and then laugh about it, and then you feel better. All right, somebody needs advice. All right, hey, Bill, uh, I got a couple questions and comments and stories. Blah, blah, blah. I went out with this girl last year. Before I went to the prom with her, it wasn't really a date, but it was just a chance to go out with her and get to know, to get to know her before we went to prom. We ended up having a great time that evening and, it, and at the prom. I proceeded to Facebook her about a, a week later and asked her if she wanted to go out again. She basically said, said she would like to go out again, but not in a romantic way. Bum, 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 boo. All right, so now you took that emotional kick in the chest. After hearing this, I backed off and didn't pursue her for a month or so. In this time, she got a boyfriend. Boo, boo, ba doo. Which honestly pissed me the fuck off, as well it should have. Uh, I had to talk to her. Um, I had talked to her for about a week before she went out with this guy. And when they finally were officially dating, I told her I didn't want to cause trouble and that I didn't want to bother. She replied by saying that she, she said she didn't want to go out again with me is because she was confused about how I felt. And seemed when we first went out before prom that I wasn't interested. Isn't that funny? After she said, let's just go out and be friends. Right? Didn't she? Did I already forget the first part of this? We saw each other maybe two or three times again through birthdays, graduation parties, until I went off to college and she went back to high school. I am now a freshman in college and have, and have made no friends on account of my horrific people skills. I feel like I should go after college girls, but I can't stop thinking about the high school girl and feel like she's light years ahead of these big-titted, shallow college girls. I also feel like she's the first girl that I ever felt comfortable hanging out with, although she seems like she would be a hard girl too, to woo, as she is really intelligent and I am still am unsure if she likes me at all. I was wondering what you think and if you have any tips on how to really impress girls besides the cliche confidence or expensive shit. All right, dude, you said something back here that really just rang a bell. Wait a second. We each two or three. Two. I am. OK, this sentence right here, dude. I am now a freshman in college and have made no friends on account of my horrific people skills. All right, dude, that's right there. That's the money right there. That's what you need to work on. All right, dude, this girl's still in fucking high school. You're off at college. You know what I mean? You were at college. You were college. You're living at college? That is the ultimate fucking nightclub for the next four years. It's the greatest nightclub of all fucking time is living at college. You are, there's just women everywhere. They're on every fucking floor. They're in every goddamn class. You don't even have to, you know, you don't have to walk into a nightclub like, hey, baby, what's your sign? Did somebody steal the lights out of the sky and put them in your eyes? Right? You don't have to come up with stupid shit like that. You, you have a, you know what? I always find it's easy to pick up women when you're both, there's a reason that both of you are there. Like at the gym, you're both there to work out. You're on a train, you're both going home. You know, they don't have their guard up as much as when they go into the fucking Texas Chainsaw Massacre fucking meat locker that is a goddamn nightclub. All right? So this is what you need to do. All right? I think right now, you're saying, like, you just said that all, basically all college girls are big-titted and shallow. And I think a lot of it has to do with kind of your, your, um, your, your hopeless feeling right now that you don't know how to talk to people and you don't know how to get things going, okay? That's part of being a freshman. It's supposed to seem like a, a bigger universe than you can handle. But what you need to do is you need to work on your horrific people skills, all right? And it is a skill that you can work on. All right? Just like catching a football. I'm never going to be able to catch a football like Jerry Rice, but if I fucking do it enough times, I can catch the fucking thing. Right? Maybe imitate somebody's end zone dance. But you're going to get in the game. So what you need to do is f understand that you're kind of putting that girl up on a pedestal. You don't really know her. And I think the, 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 the comfort of kind of already having your foot in the door, I bet you were a lot more comfortable. I bet you were real comfortable with the fact that you were just kind of being friends and the pressure was... was was kind of taken off the whole prom and that type of thing. You, you, you know, you're shy, so you take like baby steps. You know what I mean? Instead of taking the big step and trying to grab her titty on the first date. I'm joking. But you know what I mean. So this is what I would do if I was you. Seriously, I'm kind of fucking around here, but I know this is like a, a serious subject for you. So this is all seriousness. Just what you got to do is just you got you to gotta force yourself out of your shell. You know? 
I mean, if you say hello to a girl, she's not going to punch you in the face or whatever. Just really write down on a piece of paper what what the the humiliation or what the fear you have, what you think's going to happen. I'm telling you, a lot of times when you do that and you actually read it, you realize how ridiculous it is. And um, I'm telling you, they're never going to be better looking than when they're in college. All of you guys, you're you you fucking you're right off you're right off the the assembly line in Detroit. Dude, fuck that college girl. I mean, whatever. God bless her. I'm sure she's a nice person. But you got to get in the game and you got to start uh, crushing ass, as they say in fucking old school. That's what you should be doing there. And, uh, you know, go out with as many girls as you can, see what you like, and mentally be coming up with a list as far as what's the kind of girl you eventually want to stay with. And in the meantime, you bang a couple of big titted, shallow girls. You always wear a condom unacceptable not to wear one, dude. It ain't fucking worth it. And, uh, you know, then you got your stories. Then you got your fucking stories. And when you get married, you know, and you go down to the Dunkin' Donuts and you want to bang the girl behind the counter, you know, the temptation won't be as great because you fucked all those big-titted whores at college. All right? So psych yourself up. Dude, even tell, even like, you know, if you got some friends there at school, just be open about it. Go, God damn it, I got I got no game with girls. Just say it. Get it out there. I got no game with girls. Come on. Help me out. You know? Be a wingman. Do something. I got to get fucking laid. Just get it out there. And I'll tell you, as much as cock-blocking assholes as guys can be, when someone's open and honest about like that, if I ever, some guy ever said that to me, there's no fucking way I wouldn't try to help him out. So you'll be all right. Plus, it's your first semester, so you're, you're, you're making everything bigger than it is, all right? So there you go. That's your mission. Get out of your shell and forget about that girl, okay? And then, you know what? After this, you know, your first two semesters, you're going to come home with a little bit of swagger. You might be able to bang that broad there back uh, when she's done with her little fucking pottery class. You never know. Might come all full circle. All right, I only got time for a couple more questions. Then I got to get going here. Um, 